Welcome to Take a Break, Take a Breath for Friday, January 15th. I'm Rick Boyer, the pastor of Prospect Presbyterian Church, and Take a Break, Take a Breath is an invitation for you to pause in your day, to stop all of the activity and center yourself in God who made you and loves you and calls you by name. Each time we come together, I've been lifting up a different psalm as we read in order through the psalms, and today we are up to Psalm 124. It's another one of the songs of ascent, and they seem to be following a pattern of threes, where if you look at 124, it looks a lot like 121. 120 looked a lot like 123, only taking us uh, in a little different place. This one is a, a plea for help. And, um, and is filled with trust in the end. Uh, it, it takes us through some imagery of a torrent and um, struggles and all of the things that are unfolding and ends with a verse that is well known. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. And we use it often in worship times. It also is very reflective of one of the favorite uh, chapters in the Bible, Romans 8, where we read, if God is for us, who can be against us? And it reminds us that although there may be all this great chaos, um, God is still taking care of us. God is still watching over us. It would be better to translate on our side as for us and the us in some of the other verses there when the waters rise uh, is not really us but in Hebrew nephesh which is often translated as soul but originally meant neck when the waters rise up over our neck so the with all of that in mind um, I want to focus on our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. It reminds me of a story when, uh, from my childhood. We went to French Creek State Park, which is a state park in Pennsylvania. And um, maybe, maybe it's just a memory that's created for me all my own, but I was playing in the, in the water and stepped into a hole and suddenly uh, found myself underwater and felt this hand, and it was the hand of my dad who reached in and grabbed me and pulled me up out of the water. Um, and there's that reminder that God can pull us up out of the water. So I invite you to go to a quiet place in your house and to close the door if you have a door and to settle in the chair and get comfortable. Put both feet on the floor and feel um, this, the support that comes from having the floor under you and the chair supporting you on your back and on the back of your legs and if it has arms under your arms. Let yourself relax, close your eyes, and take some nice deep breaths. And as you breathe in, breathe in the breath of God. And as you breathe out, breathe out all that separates you from God. As you breathe in, breathe in the breath of life. And as you breathe out, breathe out all that separates you from life. Breathe in the good air. Breathe out the old stale air. Breathe in God's peace. And breathe out all of your worries and fears and anxieties. And as you do so, imagine that the peace of God is spreading throughout your body. Perhaps it's like your heart pumping peace through the veins of your body and it, you breathe it in and it goes to your heart. And then that peace spreads to your brain. And as it spreads to your brain, your, your mind is calmed all of the things that are bouncing around in your head are stilled. And it comes through your arteries to your face and your neck. And there is renewal and 
refreshment and peace and relaxation in your face and in your neck and the muscles relax as, as it continues to flow it flows in your shoulders and arms and down to your fingertips and all of the muscles in your shoulders and arms and fingertips are relaxed. The peace spreads from your heart to your belly. Your belly is calmed and at peace. It spreads from your heart to your back. All the muscles in your back relax. The knots are untied. It spreads down past your hips to your thighs and your calves and your feet. And the peace of God is spread through all of your body, just like the blood that courses through all of your body, nourishing every cell in you, who you are. The peace of God is in every cell of your body and in all of who you are. And then imagine yourself like my story in some water, wading in some water. <clears throat> it's a warm summer day. The sun is bright. The water feels good on you. What are the sounds you hear? What are the, what are the smells that you smell? does the area where this water is look like? You're walking along in the water, maybe you're hip deep or so, just enjoying it. When all of a sudden you step down into a hole. Water's up to your neck all at once and, and rising, and but suddenly you feel these hands grab you and pull you up. And you feel safe and secure. You look at the person. You don't really recognize this person. But then you look into the eyes of the person and you know that it's a representative of God. The two of you walk into the shoreline and you find a place to relax. It might be a beach towel, it might be a bench might be two beach chairs. What is it? The person smiles at you and you smile back. And then you start to think about all of the chaos in our world and you start to talk about it. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. God is watching over us. Thinking about all of those things as the conversation unfolds and you share all of the things that you are concerned about and listen for God's response. I'll be quiet for a few minutes now.
and then the time comes for the conversation to end and you bring it to an end in whatever way is appropriate and say goodbye in whatever way is appropriate. And you let that image fade and you bring yourself back to the room where you are. And when you are ready, you open your eyes. Well, let's take a break, take a breath for Friday, January 15th. If you have feedback for me, or if you'd like to talk or pray together, send an email to rick at prospectchurch.org.